What's up, guys? So, you already see the character on screen right now, Olimar, for my favorite game of all time, Pikmin 1. That game is a masterpiece. If you have not played that game, you are missing out. So, whoever worked on Olimar for this game, I want them working on Sonic, or Bayo, or Wii Fit Trainer, or Pac-Man, or, or some other character that no one wants to be good in the next Smash game. Please, leave my Olimar alone. He got neutered enough in this game. Like, this character is good. He has some really, really good tools. But then he has some awful, awful weaknesses or stupid mechanics with his attacks. Like, all Pikmin attacks, including aerials, being item properties. It's dumb. So please, give my character a designer that doesn't want to completely screw him in the next game. Now I get that out of my system. It's Olimar. He is a grappler hybrid that can be offensive or defensive. He has lots of range with paper grabs, forward smashes. He has short hop, auto cancel, fair, and back air is really good for pressuring people. He has really high damage off his grabs with combos and kill setups. And there's a kill throw. He has really strong smashes for damage and killing. He also has really fast smashes, so you can use that for pressure, for zoning, for mix ups, everything. Except for up smash. That move is kind of booty cheeks. Pikmin throwing is great because there's a lot of damage. It pressures the opponent. Do they get rid of the Pikmin? Do they hit Olimar? Do they block? Do they try pressing a button knowing the attack is going to be slower and easier to punish? Um, and yeah. He's small, so he's hard to hit. His roll game is really nice because he has fast jab and smashes that dangerous. And his roll in general is just pretty decent from what I notice. But his size especially helps so much for just making things hard to hit on him. And he has a great anti projectile game with Pikmin. Um, Whistle Armor is not really that good in this game, sadly, so his disadvantage state is kind of really booty cheeks, even though his advantage state is really bad because of some stun properties, and yeah. So, how do I fix this character? First thing, and this is the thing every Alamar player has wanted since day one, make his item, not items, Pikmin attacks in the air, transcend it, make him like other aerials. If he up airs a Mario who's down air, he shouldn't lose every time to Mario's down air. It should be almost hit Mario with down air with his up air or trade at worst because of the range of up air. But right now, and with matching attacks like Mario doing up air, not up air, like nair, down air, hell, he's up airing and Oliver tries down air. Guess what? Mario's up air wins every time because Pikmin attacks, including aerials, are transcendent. Granted, the Pikmin attacks, that's fine, that's fine, it's transcendent. Those, those smashes need some sort of weakness. Being able to reflect them, maybe it's a little bit too much, absorb them, and just generally cancel the hitbox with item like uh, reflectors and stuff, that's fine. In fact, that's something I'll change. I'll make reflecting his smashes. I'll make it just cancel the hitbox. It wouldn't reflect back at Olimar, but they just... Hitbox would disappear. I think it'd be a fair compromise, because when you fight a Mario and he just forward smash and... You forward smash and he capes you, you're dead. It's dumb. You shouldn't get punished for using one of your main zoning tools. Meanwhile, your aerials lose to everything he presses on the ground or in the air. It's dumb. See, I fixed that. Well, the thing that annoys me, I'm not sure I can show it here, but uh, sometimes his... There it was, right there. Yeah, you know, he dash grabs, there's like no grab box on his hand. So if he's like next to the pony dash grabs, just goes right through them. Tiny little annoyance, but fix that up. Next thing, I'll just make his dash attack in general decent. Right now this move doesn't exist. Not necessarily because it's a bad move for hitting people, but there's no combos off. You do dash attack, big whoop. Sometimes they fall out and you can't do anything and they can press you first actually. Sometimes you do this and you can't follow up with an up air. And just, actually every time. So, give it a little bit more hit stun, I'd say, just so you can get up air combos at like low and mid percents. Give it a little bit more range, like Diddy Kong's range, while still keeping with like a decent hitbox, decent damage, multi hit properties. It wouldn't be a great burst option, but it'd be something to with punish people, because sometimes you want to dash grab them, but you can't because they throw an attack out. But you can't run up and fair them because the attack's going to stop the item, the aerial, or you just don't want to jump. The dash, dash attack would be great if it was decent to punish people pressing buttons via general burst tool, pressure tool, and just all that stuff, but it wouldn't be busted because this character is still slow. This move would still have a decent amount of lag to punish with. And yeah, so please give him that. Next thing I do with this character, so you actually make forward smash not stupid. This move is stupid. Just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Give it less power. Give it a bit more cooldown. Just make it a no, not a ridiculous. I'm gonna throw this out and you can't do much about it except jump over me or dash in perfect shield, like roll in and all these other things that require high commitment to deal with a very low commitment and powerful move. So, yeah, I also make up smash not the slowest move in the game. Look how laggy that is. It's a decent anti if it hits someone with it, you kill him, but only if you get the strong hitbox, which is like right on Olimar's like body. Like the Pikmin itself, like 
above Olimar's head doesn't have a strong hitbox. It's pretty weak. That's fine. This move is supposed to be like a whiff punish anti air or a hard read move. It can be kept that way. But just make it so I don't have to get mit really hard to this move. Like, come on, come on. I want to be able to throw this move out as an anti air or a whiff punish or a general read without getting Falcon punched. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. I want to get a Falcon need for getting this move blocked. It's dumb. Another thing I do with this character is if someone dash attacks Olimar and he pepper grabs him and the dash attack has like a lot of range like Meta Knight or Samus, um, a lot of times it will actually just cut through the pivot grab because the, the grab will touch the opponent but the opponent's hitbox hit Olimar at the same time and then he just gets hit. And it's actually really annoying. So I'll just make it it's something like if an attack is coming out like a dash attack and Olimar's grab is like going to hit the opponent, instead of just hitting through Olimar cleanly, it kind of causes a grab break. Like the opponent hits the Pikmin, gets grabbed, but breaks the grab. And this only be with dash attacks. Because I understand why they want dash attacks to go through all of his long range paper grab as like a punish, but at the same time, if he's paper grabbing backwards, he's already losing a lot of range, you can always jump over it. And if you got like a grab break setup, all of them are still be in a worse spot because he doesn't want to be like you wouldn't want to be like this distance with the opponent, I don't think. So yeah. But that's not a big deal. Um another thing to do with this character oh Oh, of course. How to get this one? Just Pikmin in general. Give him more Pikmin. Give him like four or five, or even maybe six Pikmin. As much as I love that, I can handle it. A lot of people couldn't handle keep track of his Pikmin with six. A lot of people couldn't even handle playing all of them with six Pikmin. They couldn't keep track of their own Pikmin. Dummies. Okay, no, no, I'm kidding, kidding. But yeah. So right now, if you throw a Pikmin off stage and throw it at your opponent. Oh my god. If I forward smash, I can't use that Pikmin. I have to dash up and pick the Pikmin up. And that's annoying. Or like my opponent kills that Pikmin as I first smash, then guess what? I don't have a Pikmin left because the other one's still on the opponent. But the thing is, the situation happens quite a bit where you want to throw more Pikmin off to get new ones. But because you're limited to three, you always need one to attack with at minimum. A lot of times you can't be like throwing a Pikmin and using them freely, even though they die quickly. The point is, character is constantly cycling out Pikmin. So giving him one or two more Pikmin would let him cycle out so much easier, so much faster, so much more fluidly. It would make it so. It's Pikmin throw in a Pikmin or two is a huge commitment. And yeah, basic but important. Especially since you can kill Pikmin when they're coming back to all of them are just hitting them. Like if you side B's and the Pikmin just falls off, just hit him with a dash sack or a down tilt or something, lock him in place, especially if it's a purple. Another thing I'll do with this character, oh I forgot to mention by the purple Pikmin not busted. Keep him that way, please. But something I'll do with this character just for funsies is I'll make the elf skin have Rock Pikmin is that purple Pikmin? Because people always mention this. And I don't like the idea of having purple and rock Pikmin. It seems like too much overlap. You either have to nerf purple or make rock bad. I'll just, I don't know. It doesn't work out. But if you just make purple uh, rock Pikmin a skin for Elf and replace a purple Pikmin, that'd be great. Same functionality. Everything. But thematically, it would make more sense. So I guess, do that, please. That would be awesome. Another thing I would do, instead of set order of Pikmin, I would make it semi randomized. So how it would work is. You have a higher chance of pull Pikmin, you have less of. So let's say you have one red, one blue, two yellows, and you can hold five Pikmin. The next Pikmin you pull has a higher chance to be white or purple than the other three, and the lowest chance to be yellow, because you have two yellows, one blue, one red, and zero whites and purples. I think it's just a cool mechanic, because that way you get pseudo randomness. You're able to kind of like, it forces Pikmin players, forces all our players to on the fly decide what they should do based on their lineup, and it makes it so you can't just rely on the same lineup all the time, which is Good and bad for both you and the opponent, but adds a lot more thought to the play while also making sure it's somewhat consistent. Because in Brawl, sometimes you get three or four purples from the start of the match, and then you just won that stock, if not that game. But then sometimes you got, you know, you got a white, two yellows, and three blues or some at night, and you're just like, well, I lose the game. This stock's gonna stink. So yeah, some side, some sort of mechanic for that would be really nice and fun, in my opinion. And yeah, and by doing these things, you give him a better punish game on people, make it so his paper grab isn't so much of a commitment for his very bursty characters, which helps for his really annoying matchups like Fox or Meta Knight. Um, you give him a good anti-air, just general air-to-air -air game, making his attacks in the air not trans- by making them transcendent instead of item attacks. His ground attacks can stay the same, they don't need to be- they're already busted. Um, oh, other thing I'll do. Just make forward tilt angleable. Make it angled up or down so you can two frame with it. Maybe you can anti air people on the ground with it. Nothing crazy, but just something. Because right now forward tilt is just kind of like you don't you don't use it. 
You only use it if you know someone's gonna reflect like a Mario cape, even then that's so situational. And you can just wait out the cape and grab or forward smash or just do an aerial instead. So yeah. As this advantage state is garbage, but I think it's fine. Because his neutral is so good. You don't need to have give him a good disadvantage state when he's good neutral. Like it's fine. Maybe I'll make it so I don't think you can be reverse whistle in this game. You couldn't brawl. Maybe you can make him be reverse whistle like neutrally. So like he can get like that super armor up here resting just for a decent landing option, but it wouldn't be anything crazy. His up BR gives some good landing mix-ups. And yeah. This character would still be obnoxious. He would still be good. In fact, he would be pretty solid, but it wouldn't be busted. You hit him once, you would get bopped. And like if you can juggle him or keep him in the ledge, that's that's it, he's done. Um and he still would have trouble with jump ins because he still has low range aerials. He still doesn't have good out of shield options, his grab is slow, his up smash is low, his aerials are not that fast considering the range, and yeah, so he's very vulnerable to pressure, um, and that's what I do with this character, I know I'm a little bit biased, because I love playing him in Brawl, and I hate what he was like in Smash 4, because I favor him, I know I'm biased, and that's fine, so everyone has to be a little bit biased at some points, so guys, hope you guys like these ideas for my totally balanced Smash Switch Olimar, and let me know what you want to see in the next video.